from that, from that, it, it brought another invention. Another invention. This invention is, is something that we, we, we learn every single step. We learn every single problem. We learn slush problems. We learn chain dragging problems. We learn a lot of problems and more. So, we decide upon this is 0.64 hectare for right, but actually we can do a hectare. So we decide a central sun pit. So let's dig it. Let's dig it 2 meters. Why we use 12 meters wide? Is because that is a conventional slush accumulated about 12 meters wide in the center. So we estimate that if we can do a 12 meters wide summit, so the slush will not accumulate it around the, the, the sun, and that way the tree will be very safe. And then this is, an, this is the recirculating ponds. We dig it even deeper. Deeper inside, in the center, is even deeper because we want to create an anoxic condition. Which means, whatever you aerate in the bioflock system under aerobics, the nitrate is accumulated and it will be denitrified by natural process of the depth of the water by itself without using any expensive denitrifiers process equipment. So the depth is playing an important role of nitrogen removal. <coughs> when you look at this, what is for? Is this it means a lot of things to remove nitrogen. So this is a point. This is this is a, the we, we pump out the slush from this one. This one has had fish, has carbs. But we are thinking <coughs> into integrated. If we can add high aeration system. We can use the same frogs, feed sea cucumber, feed oyster, feed something more valuable that fuel the feed the frogs. And then whatever the, whatever left, we can return to the system again. So we have to build an external system as integrated aquaculture. Actually, this is an RAS system, but I would call it biological filtration recirculating system. We don't use any mechanical. Everything is, is done by fish, natural. On, I only think one way, natural. Natural. No mechanical. Something cheap, farmers can apply. And we have fish. Every time we walk around, farmers. They, 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 they love, but we never feed them. <laughs> they feed on our day. So, the, the denitrified fires pond become a facultative pond. So if the shadow is about 1.5 1, 1. meters, so you have enough oxygen. And uh, whatever left in the pond, uh, let me go back a little bit. We have a sequence, see? We have, there, there is one channel here, another channel there, and another channel there. So the, the retention very long. See, the retention very long. This is important. Normally, people think about this separating. People just use one pond, just pump it in for one pond. No, no, no. We do something different. My land small, our land small, so we have to think conservatively. We use HDPE, simple, no dikes. No dikes. Because if you build dikes, no farmer has money to dig. So, we use HDPE. You can use even lower cost than HPP if you can do And just, just hang it. But here, he use uh, the net, so the water can go through, but the fish cannot. It's a very simple process. So we have a full capacity of the system. And let's go for another video. See, this is a big case. Minimum 15 days, but we stop a lot. 140 pieces per square year. The copy part disappear after 25 days. This is 48 days of torture. 
But this one I use headache because the stocking density was high. The, the, the labors cannot do the fermentation, so let's, let's do it. I want to get success. And actually, this one was harvest on October 2nd before I arrived. So it's the most updated numbers you'll be seeing today. Look at that harvest. No search, no odors. It's clean. And we use that water, we recycle that water into the reservoir. And now it's already been pumped back into the system and we'll be stocking the same part again very soon. So we can use, we can grow up to three and a half crop per year. Possibly four crops per year. 6,400 square meters, 10,000 cubic meters. We stock too much, 900,000, but learning process. After you so confidence, you get greedy. Of course, I get greedy, but I will try to lower all my greed now. 140 pieces, just harvest before I arrive. 71 days of closure. Very short, 2 months and 10 and 11 days. But we get 13 grams, 76 pounds, ADG 0 0.818. Total feed, 10,659. Biomass, 10 times in 71 days. We can earn money now with this process. FCR 1.03421. And, and we have byproducts of fish for free. <laughs> yeah, fish. All, all the labels in the farm, the neighbors can have fish for free. Organic fish. But the most importantly, the four volumes we kept very, very low. We had one sham, we had one time the fog volume went above 1.5. The next morning the DO just dropped like this. So always try if you want to grow trim of fish, trim, kept your fog volume as low as possible. If you grow fish, that's a different story. I calculate all the costs. So people have doubts. What is your cost? What is your cost for adoption? Is it hard? Is this this? Is this that? So let's go through it. Provide is 29,000 baht. PC brand is 23,000 baht. Feed is 449,000 baht. Fry is 90,000. Electric 130,000. Expensive, but we, we give it for 120 days. Let's top it up. Maximize it. Salt and minerals, 60,000 baht, maximize it. Labors and bonus. My cost of production is 865,390 baht, with biomass of 10 tons. 84 baht, 2.4 2, 2, 2. dollars per kilo, 470 pounds. We can live. Look, what is the majority cost of production? What is the main cause of production? Number one is speed. Number two is electric. Number three is ride. Number four is labors. Number six, number five is minerals. And number six, probiotics. And then the least is rice bran. The value of rice bran is so cheap, but it can create so much value for all of us. So have more research using the rice bran for aquaculture and everything will be just fine. From there, this is last but not least. Ongoing projects everywhere around the world. A lot, a lot of things we are doing, cooperating in some different ways. Using natural feed, using natural grains, using using biofrogs, controlling the water. The more we share, the more I learn. The more we give, the more we get. So I think this is a common thing that human beings, we need to be involved together. I'm doing a lot of experiment using the fermented soil, using in, in shrimp, without using any fish oil. 
fish meals, nothing. Only soy <coughs> and wheat bran. 25% of wheat bran, 75% of soy. It's a natural resource of amino acid and peptides and proteins. It's a natural prebiotic. It's alternative to feed. It's improved past the growth rate very fast. Enhanced higher survival rates and very low cost of production. Lower than what we had done just now. When we have a good system, this one can be improved. The system is there, available now. Now is do it. Feed them. Look at it. Look at it. Amazing how they grow. Amazing how they grow. There's no pellets. It's grain. No more destructive to the ocean. But this this done only by means, not black pepper. Black pepper I still like natural process because it's, it's just a different way. But we go in intensively. Look at the GI tract. Look at the tract. It's too rich. It's just they love it. They love wheat bran. They love rice bran. They love fermented soy. But let me finish the trial. Then we will be disclosed. We are in there soon. How we manage the system? Am I, am I late? Can I go on a little bit more? <laughs> this is how I manage the system. Ordinary, when you're feeding with pellet, you're feeding high proteins. So you have a pH fluctuate because of the RK boost. You have a DO fluctuate because of the intake and out and release carbon dioxide and oxygen. So you have a very high toxic sludge. You have very stressful condition. You have green water, you have less bioalcohol, you have less turbidity, and you have a very high pathogenics. And you have a high phytoplankton rules. So by versus, when you do a natural creating a natural micro diet, pH is constant. BO is constant, steady. There is no toxic sludge available. Because the natural living, they also help you reduce the waste. It's a stress-free condition, and this brown water, less pathogenics, high turbidities, and high biofluorides. But there's no commercial values behind this. If anyone understood the talk, they cannot sell anything. But if you have pH fluctuate, you, you can begin to buy lines. We have to do water exchange, we have to buy pond, we have to do this, we have to buy uh, sodium peroxide to increase your oxygen at night, you have to buy drugs, you have to buy antibiotics to eliminate all the problems. But by doing this, there's no commercial value chain anymore, but it's good for farmers and human consumption. So, when you do this, we have to balance it. Not over, not too much in the center where we balance it. When, once you have established the top, you don't want the top all the way. Maybe, okay, we, we keep some plankton to grow because the plankton, one, the tube, the shrimp can feed, they grow faster. And uh, the concept is uh, solution awareness. And thanks to all my team, Mr. Suti, and Putawat, Putawat, and Dei Shabala, Dei Sibiria, and this guy is from Vietnam, but strongly corroboration. You can follow me through Thai Organic Film Facebook, and thank you very much for all your time.